a spirit of the triple thrush treat, the ball now presents an in-depth look at one of Britain's top metal bands, Carcass. It was back in 1985 that Liverpool's Carcass first began churning out their unique brand of heavy metal. Formed by guitarist Bill Steer and drummer Ken Owen, the band matured into a more serious unit in 87, when Steer and Owen were joined by Jeff Walker on bass and vocals. In 1988, Carcass released their debut album, Reek of Putrefaction, on Nottingham's Earache label. 89 saw the UK release of the band's second helping of hardcore, Symphonies of Sickness, which boasted improved production values and more structured and melodic material. It was at this point that second guitarist Mike Amott was added to consolidate the new material in the live environment. Late last year, Carcass released their third album, Necroticism, Discanting the Insalubrious. I love saying that. And with it came their first ever video for the track, Incarnated Solvent Abuse. Despite the gory and somewhat explicit lyrics, Carcass are keen to be accepted as just a good, traditional, heavy metal band. We recorded Reek of Future Faction in 87, which is probably the most horriblest, brutalist, uh, sickest record that genre and in a way that sort of that was the end of death metal as far as i'm concerned i mean death metal uh, which is a really hard to define thing you know like i was saying earlier you know metallica were called death metal when they started i mean to me death metal is a period of time from about you know 84 through to about 87 you know band bands like hellhammer or celtic frost it's, that's the same band <laughs> I should say. and uh, early slayer uh, venom uh, early death uh, along with all the underground uh, death metal bands i mean all the classic recordings date from that period, and those bands have either progressed now to really good thrash bands, or you know it's, they've just moved on into you know good rock band or whatever. And any band that's around now calling themselves death metal are basically just bandwagon jumpers. And as, you know, uh, you know, I'm always a bit suspect of anyone who, who labels the music to such a generic sort of uh, limiting, uh, you know, uh, category because you know you just can't really define what death metal is anyway. But to me personally, and probably the rest of my band, we feel it's a, you know, probably, you know, mid 80s, and that's a period of time. It's rather like a band forming today, saying that they're punk rock. That's something that happened 14 years ago, as far as we're concerned. We're, we're more concerned with uh, being a rock band than just some fashionable uh, music genre, you know, just for the sake of making money or whatever. We're in it for the music, not uh, the pose or whatever. Symphonies of Sickness, I think really we, we, we were really disappointed to be recaptured faction because the production was lacking ever so slightly and the playing. We recorded that 18 months later after um, recaptured faction and uh, basically what we did with that record was redefine or ref, you know refine and redefine what Carcass was about and I think with that album we, we formed our own niche, uh, we created our own style which um, I mean it's just a far superior prog progression from the production to our abilities as musicians to the songs. And uh, I think, in a way, that was sort of our first album, in a way, because uh, for a period of time, we disowned Reek of Future Faction because it was just, you know, we just thought it was just too nasty, basically. And I think Symphonies underlines what we were trying to do with Reek of Future Faction. And uh, with a new album now, Necroticism, Discounting the Insalubrious, again, it's, it's turning over a new leaf again because you know, we've got all the extreme stuff out of our system now. We've created our own little niche, dug our own grave, if you pardon the pun, and uh, we're just uh, progressing as a rock band. I don't mean that's a nasty word, progressing. You know, uh, I think it's a really healthy thing. If you take each album, they're completely, uh, not completely different, you can tell it's Carcass, but you can tell that we're progressing as musicians and as um, a rock band or whatever. And we're not really too concerned anymore about you know, saying that we're totally extreme and we're brutal. The truth of the matter is, you know, we're far heavier, uh, uh, more all-round, you know, where, I'm going to explain, we're, you know, we're pretty fast, we're pretty slow, we're pretty mid-paced in sections, we're not technically just a thrash band or uh, a death metal band or wherever people have been labelling us, we're just a, you know, heavy metal band for the 90s, basically. <laughs> heavily 
listening to death metal originally and uh, the lyrics are just so generic and misogynist and uh, homophobic and everything about it just stank of you know cliches to do with heavy metal you know about killing women or raping women or whatever and basically we wanted to put a more sort of uh, realistic which is bound to make it more brutal or more horrible uh, tinge to everything or uh, look at it from a more sort of uh, humanistic point of view I mean rather than singing about these things that just don't, don't exist like zombies or the occult or Satan you know these things that just are not tangible just not there we, we uh, base our lyrics more in reality and uh, I think our lyrics go hand in hand with the music originally because our music was horrible our lyrics were horrible and our imagery was horrible the sleeves uh, now, um, like I said earlier, we've created our own style and what, what we're do, trying to do now, we're trying to make um, it's adult-orientated adult uh, rock music really. We're not writing, you know, lyrics for 14-year-old kids or whatever, you know, we, we're not singing about uh, going to see the latest horror film and, uh, you know, uh, just singing about what, what's going on in that film. We're, we're uh, treating it in a more sort of... Uh, articulate and uh, literary sense in the way that, you know, Edgar Allan Poe might have wrote a macabre novel or whatever, you know, we're looking at it more from a sort of, uh, from a point of view of it being artwork as opposed to just two-dimensional, you know, lyrics and music. <laughs> I think we do feel responsible to a certain extent because we're not as extreme as we were when we were 18, 17. Mm. But it's just part of part and parcel of growing up. We've never done anything to shock people. We've never gone out of our way to be extreme just for the sake mm. of it. Um, so I think as we grow up and mature, we're just... Um, I, th it, I mean, it's, it's, gonna, it's just going to get a bit far more re removed from our roots, really. Mm. Mm. Build I mean, if, it, if it is offensive, I mean, it's offensive towards everyone rather than being selective and just yeah. picking, you know, one particular group, you know, be it women, a certain race or whatever. I mean, you know, it's about death, which is something that happens to everyone. So really, um, as far as being offensive goes, I mean, I think, you know, you're either offended or you're not. <laughs> It's not an intentional thing that we avoided Morris Sound because, you know, it's part of this so-called death metal thing. The reason why we didn't go to Morris Sound or use that producers, we just don't like the work it does. And for like I've been saying, we don't really feel ourselves as a death metal band because it's such a generic, limiting little thing to be called. We're uh, more, you know, we're just a rock band and we'll do things that we think we need to do to get the sound we need to create. Um, so, you know, we went, you know, the producer we had we go because he's one, he's a good friend, and two, he's actually appreciates what Carcass is doing, what he's trying to do, and he brings out the best in us. So um, we're not formulated, we're not cynical, we don't sit on the side and, and see like bands getting big, mm. and think that we have to go to a certain direction to get that bit to get big. Because we're not in it to get big, we're in it because we enjoy playing the music, and because you know we feel we've got something to contribute. And maybe if you know five years from now this band, you know. Um, maybe we're ne never going to break big, or we don't particularly care from one point of view. Uh, people looking back and will probably say, you know, there's a classic band <laughs> and you got overlooked. That's probably yeah. be the case, but we know deep in our hearts that we're doing something original, that we're progressive. We're probably, you know, one of the few progressive bands in the left field of wherever this is called, you know. Uh, you know. It's really hard, and we, we don't want to categorise our music. Yeah. But uh, we, like I said earlier, we really see ourselves as a heavy metal band for the 90s, not um, yeah. some, some fashionable uh, kiddies thing like yeah. death metal. Yeah.